today at the um, men's breakfast, they were discussing the verse from James about uh, the man who was tossed to and fro in his beliefs and in his thought processes. And that reminded me of uh, the conversation I had in Denver with Joshua Fletcher where we discussed contradictions and how uh, contradictions kill business owners because they say, hey, I want to be a business owner, but then they don't put the time into uh, escaping their day job. Or they say, I want to be a business owner, and they spend their free time watching football. Or they say, you know, I want to be there for my family, and um, they, they make really poor health decisions, so they, they end up dying young. And we discuss those contradictions in, in quite a bit of detail there in Denver and, and identifying those in our life. I found today's discussion to be very similar because we were discussing, um, you know, the man who says I'm a Christian, but then who uh, willfully does things that are, are unethical or things that are very anti-Christ-like. And he has one face for Sunday and another face for the work day. I think we see that a lot. Everyone complains that Christians are hypocrites and, and you know, I'm not going to pretend that Christians are, are perfect. But I think as a Christian, it's important for us to look at what areas do we have contradictions in? What areas are we not true to ourselves, true to our beliefs? And I sat here and worked on a list of some contradictions in my life. Um, and one that kept coming up was quality of time. Not the amount of time, but the quality of time. So, for example, I want to be, um, you know, a really good dad and I want to be engaged with my kids. And, but I work from home, so a lot of my time at home is sitting there with a laptop on my lap, and I'm not engaged. In a way, I think that's why this office space is good, because when I'm at the office, I can be engaged in the office. When I'm at home, I can be engaged with my family, and I can start differentiating that a little bit. And I honestly think I've been a little too easy on myself, giving myself excuses for maybe why I don't follow through on some of these things that are important to me. And wow, that hair is incredible. But yeah, so I think that's an important thing to look at in your own lives. What are your goals? And then do your actions match with your goals? And I think if we can get those things in alignment, we're going to find a lot more uh, peace with our lives. Somebody said this week, does spending money or making money, you know, spending money or saving money make you happier? And it all comes down to where your goals are. If your goals are to save, saving will make you happier. If your goals are to spend, or, or maybe from the um, attraction you get when you spend, you know, the attention you draw to yourself when you spend, spending will make you happier. And so it's important to, to get your body in alignment, to get your mind and heart in alignment, and your spirit in alignment. And, uh, and then when you have that alignment, things move much, much more smoothly. I just got some new trainer videos up on cubiclehoudini.com. Actually, this is for the members only section. So those of you who are members, uh, be sure to watch your email for that update. It should be coming out to you via MailChimp in like 15 minutes. So I have the frustrating challenge that I don't have any house keys on my other keychain, which means that the house is locked. I may a little, be a little bit AWOL. Aha! Uh -huh. It's unlocked. The wifey saved my butt. As I was leaving, I discovered the battery for this uh, mic is bad. So, go to the first place I know where there's a battery. Okay, I got a green light now. See how the sound is. All right, sound looks pretty good. When one of the lights in the parking lot is out. With um, it being fall, it's making it harder for people to see getting in and out of their cars at these meetings. I'm going to climb up in the ladder before the meeting starts tonight and see if we can uh, get one of the lights to start working again.
have enough ladder. I am majorly afraid of heights. Mission of failure. Hey, girly. Hi. We need a 13 year anniversary kiss. A what? 13 years since I met you. That's true. Yeah. Wow. 